Hey, it's Atul and in last few videos we have discussed about some basic commands of Kali Linux. So in this video, uh, I'm going to discuss how you can write script in Kali Linux. So by taking example of IP sweeper script. Uh, so IP sweeper script uh, is a kind of script by which you can check which IP is active on the whole net network. So let's begin. So first of all, um, First of all, let check. Let's uh, let us check even active IP in our system. So for that, I am going to check uh, IP of my Windows system. IP config and it's one into dot one six eight two four that one control plus. And so let's first of all let's ping it. Ping and by giving point of one. 192.168.24.1 and hit enter and uh, by give, giving this command it's going to ping my windows machine just once so and uh, so let us type another command dot 3 and actually um, as you can see that this ip is active in my machine so uh, it's receiving 64 bits after data from it and this IP is not active so it's not receiving any data from this. So um, in IP sweeper, sweeper script we have to check all these IPs which are active and which are not active. So first of all uh, so from this whole command we need we just need this IP. So to take this IP you can see that the IP uh, which is active, it's uh, that is receiving 64 bytes. So uh, let's write the command ping dot c and this sorry 192.168.24.1 that IP is active and we have to uh, take out the line which has 64 byte in byte in it that we have to write gap and 64 bytes. And when we hit enter from this whole result it is going to take just this line so now we have to uh, take out just this IP for that uh, we have to remove this and all of this for that we have to write command command that 64 byte uh, and until this it is going to take just that line and now we have to remove all other data uh, we can remove all that data by using this by using cut and dash d and here it is going to count the 4, 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and cut all other of them and going to keep the fourth element in this line so and we have given we have to give the flag of 4 and if we enter it is going to take it is going to give output just that i uh, still uh, there one colon is remaining so to remove that colon we have to type the same command plus a command to delete that column we can do that by trim tr dash d and uh, we have to give whole column that should be deleted and when we hit enter it is going to give an that ip so if you want to write this IP in the text file, you can do that by giving this command and if we ls and you can see that ping.txt has been created. Now if we read this file cat ping dot and that IP is stored in that text file. So now you and uh, I think you have understood that how you can take out the IP from this whole output. So now let us uh, let us clear this and now we will write this whole script. To write this script, we can we I'm going to use nano data and uh, we have to uh, make, a, make a shell script uh, file. Let's name is name that file IP sweeper dot 
sh and hit enter and uh, our nano editor has opened so to write script file first of all we have to give the destination that we can uh, give by typing hash exclamation forward slash pin forward slash hash now we have to write the script for ip in sequence and it's the backtick sequence and between backtick we have to write in uh, we have to write the sequence that is sequence 1 2 2 54 and it's it is kind it is kind of loop it is going to check between 1 and 254 do and we're going to ping this whole IP by the count of one dollar one uh, it's the first input given by the user that uh, I will show how you can give it that IP and after that we have to write the whole command that we have written in terminal before that is okay 64 bytes and after that got the factor of 4 and lastly we have to write how to remove that column tr dash d and trim the column and we can give here semicolon or we can give n percent if uh, we give n percent uh, it's it is going to use multi multi -threading. and we have right here done so we have to save it by typing control plus x and if we enter by and it's going to be saved so let's type ls ip script dot sh now uh, if we try to execute this script it's not going to ex execute you can see that ftp sweeper dot sh as it do, uh, don't have any permission to execute to, uh, to execute it we have to change its permission we can change the permission by typing plus x and enter now if we type ls you can see that ip sweeper dot sh its, type, it's color has been changed so now if we run and we have to give the input ip um, that is uh, excluding the last letter we have to give the whole ip that is in my network it's 192.168.1.1 and if I hit enter okay I think we have made some mistake now yes nano IP switch touch actually uh, IP is a variable we have to call it okay control plus x y and enter now if we type that command again now it's going to uh, give the IP and since in our network only just this IP is active it's going to uh, give output as this IP so if we want to save this IP in text file we can do that by typing uh, the same command and writing into IP sweeper dot IP sweeper dot txt it is going to write it uh, it in that file you can see that ip sweeper.txt has been created and if we read that file dot txt and it is going to show that ip which is active in our system so uh, it's uh, i think you have understood uh, how to write this script if you want to write any other script which, which you can write uh, that script by using this same process I hope you like this video. I think you have learned how, how you can write your first script. In next video speaker, we are going to learn how you can uh, write scripts using Python and we are going to learn how to write many other scripts. 
in next video i'm going to explain how you can install kai linux in your uh, android phone and uh, do all this stuff in your phone if you don't have a pc so i think if you like this video you can hit that like button if you don't you can hit that dislike button and if you want future videos like this please subscribe thank you